This is Easton Jackson, and this is the next in a series of videos about using eClinicalWorks Scribe function in Dragon Naturally Speaking. In the last video, we reviewed how to import several Dragon Scribe commands. Please review this if you have not done so and imported these yet. In this video, I'm going to show you one other configuration option that you need to set up the first time you use Scribe. This will need to be done for each user of Scribe. In this case, I have a window open with a progress note for a patient, and I have the Scribe window open. If your view doesn't look like this, and perhaps it looks like a regular progress note, if you click the Scribe function on the tab here, then you will see the Scribe window and the progress note window. The first time that you open Scribe, you will likely be presented with a configuration window, which I'm going to go to here. Normally, this will open automatically the first time. Since I already have Scribe configured, it doesn't open for me, but I will show you what the window looks like. The window that opens will be one where you can configure your default categories. What this means is when you're dictating something in HPI and you tell Scribe to insert it into the progress note, it needs to know which HPI option to use. So, for example, we have in our installation an HPI section called Constitutional. I chose this one because it could be used whether it's a new patient, a follow-up, an annual exam, or anything else. If you have a different one that you want to use, simply click on the drop-down and you'll get a large list of them and it is quite extensive and you can choose the one that you want. Similarly, in Review of Systems, when you give a Review of System Notes command in Scribe, it needs to know where to insert it and which review of systems to use. In this case, I chose the general constitutional because all of them are more organ system specific. Examination is similar. eClinicalWorks has many examinations. Most of us, especially in primary care, use the general examination, but there are many others to choose from, as you can see here. If you were a cardiologist, perhaps you might choose the device testing. Or if you're a dermatologist, perhaps you choose one of the dermatology ones. I've chosen the general examination because I can use it for almost any patient type. If you have procedure templates that you use regularly in the procedure section of the treatment part of the progress note, then you can choose the default procedure that you want. I practically haven't found this to be especially useful because I have lots of procedures, so I don't really have a generic one that I use, so I just chose laceration because it's one that I use a bit. Finally, in preventive medicine, you can choose which section you would want your notes to go into. I don't use Scribe for this particular function, so it didn't matter which one I used. These other two boxes you can check or uncheck. When you're dictating in HPI and you say the patient denies fever, Scribe will put a statement down in the ROS section that says patient denies fever. It's pretty good at it, but I found that it was having accuracy, accuracy issues enough of the time that I did not want it to add anything that I said from the HPI into the review of systems. So I have checked this box. I also checked the other box so that it didn't add a section of patient complains of and patient denies in the HPI because I just didn't find that complains of was always a phrase that I wanted to have in my HPI section. You may feel otherwise. Feel free to leave these unchecked and try using Scribe and see if this works better for your workflow. You click Save and once you've done this you won't be presented with this window again. If you decided Perhaps you wanted to leave these unchecked and then you decided, like me, that you didn't want it to add these statements and you needed to get back to the scribe default window. Here's how you do it. Normally, if you just have your regular scribe window open and you need to get back to the default category configuration, you go to this eye icon for help. Up above, you'll see this little gear. And when you hover over it, you'll see these two windows, training wizard and default categories click default categories and you're brought right back here. This is where you could also change your default template used for the different sections in case you decide that the one you initially chose is not the one that you ended up wanting to use. In future videos we're going to talk more about some of the specific scribe commands.